Do you want a solid bulletproof core? Then stay till the end. Asalaamu Alaikum guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to go through my current core workout. Top 5 exercises that I'm currently doing for my core. And as a bonus, I'm going to give you a core workout that you can do with no equipment in the comfort of your home. So if you tuned in for the no equipment core workout, then stay till the end of the video. Okay, so my current workout, I do no sit-ups whatsoever. I was suffering with a bad back and the doctors and the physios told me to stay away from anything that has a flexion of the spine. So I took out exercises where my spine has to bend, etc. And sit-ups, as you know, requires a lot of bending of the spine. So I took out the sit-ups and I started to adopt more planks and plank variation and rotational movement of the core. So today I'm going to go through my five exercises I'm currently doing in the gym. So I hope you guys like them, enjoy them and by all means adopt them into your training program and as always please like share and subscribe i appreciate your support okay so i purchased a, a bosu ball for a lot of different exercises um, but one of the exercises that i like to do is a plank variation on this so the good thing about this is when you go into a plank position on this ball because of the instability of it it creates that instability of your in your core and requires your core to work even harder. So what I like to do, I like to do sets of this with different motion. So it changes up the motion into the, in, in the core and imbalances in the core and makes the core work harder. So I'm gonna go through what I do and I'll explain while I go along. Okay, so first thing is get yourself in a plank position. Okay, keeping the plank nice and tight and core and engaged all the way through. And then what I like to do is I like to do sets of going side to side, rocking it side to side but not letting my body follow as well. My body's locked. I just drop my hands side to side. Once I'm done side to side, I go back and forward. Okay, so that hits the core a bit differently. Then I rotate one way. So currently I'm going anti-clockwise. And then I cl go clockwise. Okay, so all these motions work the core. Now the good thing about these exercises over sit-ups is that once you are doing the plank exercise, your core is engaged from the beginning to the end. Whereas sit-ups, you have a moment where you're relaxed, your muscles not, your stomach's not engaged, and then you do the sit-up and it's, it's hurting, and then you go back down again. Well, this exercises will engage the core from the beginning to the end, so there's no rest at all. Okay, the next one is another plank variation, but using a kettlebell and adding that rotational pull into the exercise. So the help of a kettlebell. So here's how I do it. Go into the press-up position. Okay. Reach underneath. Grab the kettlebell and pull it along to the other side. Then rotate the other side and pull all the way out as far as possible. Again, rotate there. Pull it through all the way. And then one more. Reach underneath. Pull all the way. So you're on one arm that creates the instability. At the same time, you're working that rotational pull that helps you in boxing when it comes to the punching. Okay, so there's one exercise that I do like that's like a setup is this one where I like to use a band. So I got the resistance of the band and I pull my legs in and out as well. So something like this. Okay, so you lie down, you hold the band, from whatever you need it, if you want to less, then you can hold it a bit less. So from here, I do not lift my shoulders off the floor. I just ro pull my hands in. And at the same time, my knees come in as well. So here, and I hold it there. And then you go back out. Don't touch the floor with your feet. Pull again. Hold it a couple of seconds. And then back out. Again, all the way. So you can lift your head off the floor if you want. But do not get the shoulders off the floor. So keeping that spine straight on the floor. Again, all the way out and pull and hold that contraction there. Back out, all the way again. Hold that contraction there. Okay, so the next exercise is using the gymnastic rings. I recently adopted these into the workout and they're an absolute killer when it comes to training. And this exercise 
is a tough one. So I'm going to balance my hands on there into a press up position and lock that core all the way through. Okay. So get yourself in a press up position, feet back and just hold that position there. Start off underneath where it's comfortable and then eventually work your way out. Keep going out and in or just hold it there and squeeze that stomach in all the way through. This one is a killer. Okay, another good rotational exercise I like doing is using this band again. And again, a good distance. Keep your hands nice and straight in front of my chest. And from here, I like to use the core to just pull the band out and control it all the way through. Not letting the band take me back quickly. So just from there, control all the way out and back. Using that core to rotate all the way out and back. When I do a set of 10 of these, what I like to finish off is on 30 seconds holding it there, not letting the band pull me back over there, keeping that position there, locked there. Okay. Okay, so here is the bonus, no equipment, core workout that you can do in the comfort of your home. I'm going to do five different plank variations. I want you to do it between 30 seconds to one minute whatever you can do and then build on that and each one you're gonna have a 15 seconds break before you do the next one if you can only do one set you do one set but if you can do two sets three sets then you do two three sets of this workout okay let's get into it so the first one is the normal plank okay tradition plank where you're on your forearms, you suck your stomach in, you pull your belly button in, and you just hold that position for 30 seconds. Keep it there. Okay? Once you've done that, give yourself 15 seconds rest just to get on to the next one. And the next one, same position again. Okay? Start off again, suck the stomach in, and then from here, I want you to lift your backside up and then bring it back down. To where the normal position was all the way up and back down okay all the way up and back down doing these slowly is better don't rush through them just to get the reps in the slower the better more tension on the core 15 seconds rest going to the next one so the next one you are going to go onto your hands and from here all I want you to do is touch your shoulders, but try to not let your body turn. Keep your body locked and just touch them shoulders. Okay. Excellent. 15 seconds rest again. Move on to the next one. Okay, the next one, back onto the plank, normal plank position. And from here, squeeze the stomach in and get your knees slowly coming up towards your elbows again slower the better and once you come to the top squeeze for a second and back down another 15 seconds rest go on to the last one and the last one you're going to be in the plank position again but you're going to add a rotation into it so plank position Lock your stomach, suck your stomach in, and from here, rotate out. Okay, back down, and then change sides. Okay, back down, all the way out. So the good thing about this is it's adding a rotation in, but also staying on one arm, which works our core even more. And back down. So there you have it. Simple and effective. Five exercises. All plank variations, no setups whatsoever. Do one for 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 50 to a minute, or even longer if you want. 15 seconds rest, complete the next one. Do a block of five, have a good one minute, two minutes rest. Do another set and do another set, as many as you need. Okay, so remember, simple and effective. There you go, guys. That's my core workout at the moment. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe. I appreciate your support and stay tuned 
for more tips on boxing, fitness, exercise and even nutrition coming up soon. Take care guys. Assalamu alaikum.